When I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis back in 2010, the first two diets that I tried was the paleo diet and the keto diet. And when I eliminated all of the grains and sugar from my diet, the first two weeks was tremendously difficult. And I found that every single time I went to the grocery store, I... Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Sunday Q&A. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today's question comes from a World Carnivore Tribe group on Facebook where a member had recently asked, how do you all stop cravings of fast food and junk food, etc.? Well, this is a terrific question and there's a couple different things that you could do. The first one, and you're not going to enjoy this one, is just don't give in to those cravings. And this is something that I did when I first started. When I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis back in 2010, the first two diets that I tried was the paleo diet and the keto diet. And when I eliminated all of the grains and sugar from my diet, the first two weeks was tremendously difficult. And I found that every single time I went to the grocery store, I craved absolutely everything and I wanted to eat everything in sight. However, I managed to avoid it for two weeks and then after the two weeks had passed, I found that I was no longer craving all of those foods. So my first piece of advice would be try to avoid caving into those cravings for the first couple weeks. And then if you're lucky, all of those cravings should start to go away. My second piece of advice is if you're somebody who finds it difficult to just not cave into your cravings, then what you could do is try to replace your cravings with healthy cravings. So let's say you are somebody who is craving junk food or you are craving fast food. What else do you crave that is healthy? Let's say you crave something like bacon or something like cheese then you could have bacon jerky or cheese on you at all times or keep it in your cupboard. That way, whenever you're craving something, instead of going for the unhealthy craving, you could go for the healthy craving of the food that you would normally consume. But those are just a couple pieces of advice that I would give. Number one, just give it out and tough it out for a couple weeks. See if that helps. If that doesn't help, then just keep healthy snacks on you that you usually enjoy and that you usually crave. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.